I started playing guitar when I was uh, 12. Just I wanted, I knew I wanted to write songs and I wanted to be in a band. You know, for no other reason than I had been telling myself that since I could remember. I just couldn't imagine like being any other kind of kid. I mean, it was just when, when all the second graders were, were told to write a sentence on what you wanted to be when you grew up, it was just always the same thing. As I got older, I soon met Blake Mills, who's, who's um, still to this day my best friend and, and the, one of the greatest musicians I've ever been around and my favorite guitar player. I mean, I, I'm sure we all have one of those, but, but he's very much that to me and, and to a lot of people that I know. He'd already accomplished so much on the instrument, and so just being around him and, and, and soaking in what, what I could, it added this a whole other level of romance to my relationship with the guitar. It became something I really wanted to, to chase down and get better at in a way that I may not have wanted to if it hadn't been for him. I could have just as easily you know, kept it to three chords and tried to write songs within that, or, or maybe stick to more to piano, but, but uh, guitar became a really important thing to me, I think through him largely. And then also, we were in a band together for so long, and once he left, I had to be the lead guitar player, which I'd never done before, and so that, that was also a big uh, step in my relationship with guitar. Maybe he's in town for someone's birthday. For the album, for gear that I was using, I have these two tellies. I was always, I've always been playing this custom shop um, black telly and then this, this old white one. And for the, the black telly, I actually put flat wounds on it, and that kind of ended up being uh, a really specific sound that found its way on most of the record. And then for the, for the amps, I have this old 1965 Princeton, and that even though I don't really get to play it live very much because it, it, my band plays, we all play really loud, so it's hard to play the Princeton live. It's kind of the, um, the best recording amp I've ever played out of, so it ended up being pretty much the obvious choice as an amp for most of it. This year's been really great so far. We've, we've got, we have a long summer book with a lot of great artists, and we just put our album out. Dawes is very, we're very aware and comfortable with the fact that uh, with none of our albums are we trying to you know, swing for the bleachers in a way that the album before wasn't. I mean, obviously we always want to do better and we always want our latest record to be the one we're most proud of and so far that's how it's always been. But it's never a question of how do we go from X amount of fans to 15,000 at a show. I mean, it's really not a consideration we ever, we ever give it. It's more just how do we how do we do what we're most proud of? How do we how do we make sure we're representing ourselves in the in the most truthful way that we can? Kind of take our heads up at some point and say, look, we have 12 albums done. We have a whole catalog. We have we have a, a loyal fan base that that is with us through the good times and through the tough times. And so that's kind of what's always been our dream. Yeah.